People normally ask when you move in together when you're going to get married. Uh, but for the first 50 or so times, you don't usually take any notice and it just sort of skims you by. But eventually you start to seriously ask yourself, you know, what is the criteria to get married? What should, what should you achieve as a couple before you decide to, to propose and, and settle down? And uh, for, for me, I just started to realise that Hannah was my best friend. You know, she, she was the person that I liked to, to spend the most time with. And, you know, when she's happy, I'm happy. When she's sad, I'm sad. So I started to think we're something a little bit more special and significant than just uh, two individuals. I'm biased when it comes to Hannah. I, I think she's an exceptional person. When she was very young, she was a quiet, shy, reserved girl, one who tended to put herself down. Um, when we asked her when she was three what, um, what she wanted to be when she grew up, she said she wanted to be a boy. <laughs> um, Modest ambitions indeed. And it's, so, it's, it's really great from those humble, modest sort of origins to see the woman she's become today. She's developed this quiet, calm confidence in what she can do and how she can get on in life. I don't think there's any limit to what she, she could achieve in her life. Now then, Luke. Patrick and Denise would have looked on with a growing sense of uh, achievement over the years as Luke moved from a boy to uh, the man that he is today, and rightly so, because uh, he was a boy and is a man that any mother and father could be proud of. And I only met Denise on a couple of occasions, um, but I knew enough about her to know that she would be ecstatically happy today if she was here. Um, she always had a very soft spot for Hannah, saw her, I think, as the ideal shopping colleague that she always wanted in a house full of men, uh, perhaps the younger sister and daughter that she would have wanted. Um, I don't know if you, like me, have got the sense that she is actually with us today. Um, I think she probably is. In my own mind's eye, she's probably up there in the balcony, hugging herself with delight, looking down and enjoying this spectacle. In truth, we couldn't be happier to see our two friends we've grown up with decide to spend the rest of their lives together. Luke and Hannah, you complement each other, you respect one another, and you look after each other on a day-to-day -day basis. Hannah, you've been as much part of our group as Luke has for many years now, and you're largely responsible for the man he is today. You've been a role model couple for our group, and so we cannot wait to watch and support you throughout your married life. A soulmate is someone who has locks to fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, the chances are we've found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. When you're getting married, you've got your date, everyone's asked you, are you nervous and all that sort of stuff, and all day I've been really overwhelmed, but it's not just nerves, it's just to see everybody here and I'm very pleased to have everybody um, join us. But I, I kind of knew that I would be okay when Hannah came into the church. And I was just telling myself, when Hannah gets there, it's going to be fine, it's going to be good. So I said to Ben, just tell me when she's in and when I can look around and see her. And um, I was absolutely stunned just by what I saw. With, with Hannah, I think, you know, today is just about marrying my best friend and the most important person in my life. I'm thankful for today excited about our future. 
and I'm really happy for the, the memories that we've got together already and Mrs Thompson and I will join you at the bar later. Hannah and Luke, I'd, I'd like to say this, you know, may you always have the lucky star that shines because of what you are. Everybody here today, if they could only have one wish, then it would be this, love and happiness to you. To Hannah and Luke.